think travel in especially in the terms of like living in different environments has really helped me to get different perspectives on myself and on what I see and I think like what's what's especially uh, what's been especially life-changing about it is that it changes how I see things even in terms of like aesthetics or the way I think um, I would do something or the way I would make certain decisions in my artwork it's like it's often really influenced by what I have seen in a different context and environment I think being displaced is a very important part of what I do I feel that it's a way of making me stop my current mindset and go into a different state and that state is often something that really um, ignites a lot of creative ideas or thoughts that have been sort of boiling in there or simmering and states of sort of dislocating from my usual rhythm really help me to put those together so, yeah. I think actually when talking about homes I think when I did my undergraduate work in La Salle, I was in the process of being forced to move out of the home where I grew up with my family in Singapore for many many years and that traumatic <laughs> period of time actually sort of became the basis for my graduation work and since then I've never felt that home was a very concrete idea. That was the last time I associated it with a physical location. So in a sense, there's that history. I think when I go to a new place, I, I feel very fresh to it and I start to like get a sense of its aesthetic textures, what people look like, the rhythm, and this really influences what kind of material I get interested in there. So for example, in the Parisian series, which I did with like a data collection residency with like the Media Arts Lab in Singapore. Um, it, was, it was sort of like an interesting way of gathering and what I found myself attracted to in Paris were what people discarded on the ground. So that really influenced what I was picking up, like bits of broken glass, different kinds of broken glass, petals from plants, trash and also the aesthetic of the city itself. It sort of made me want to make a counter aesthetic because you know the idea of it is so pretty and almost so cliched and there is an office to help Asian tourists who are in a kind of syndrome or shock because when they actually go to Paris they see a lot of grit and a lot of real, very real parts of it. So. I think that context really made me want to look at the discarded things, the trash and the stuff on the ground. I think at least for these few years, I tend to build on a similar theme or a modus operandi that's developing. I was really excited to be a part of this residency offered by Moulton Capital and hosted in the Museum of Contemporary Art in Santiago. And even though the residency period was quite intense, like one month for research and production of work, um, I really sort of, I really felt that I was in the right time to plunge into it. And I wanted to purposefully continue the botanical team in my work by looking at the idea of native flowers. Um, so thanks to like good friends that I made there, I was able to look for wild growing native flowers and I just went to gather them and I, I used my the current style of work that I have which is to gather a lot of things, gather everything that I can 
and then select. So through this selection process, certain parts of plants and certain of the weeds that were collected uh, were selected and I combined them. And then I started to really look at them and I, I decided to use you know, my scanner as a way of processing them and looking at their textures and their weight and the kind of gravity they give. And so that's how I composed that series. In a way, it's a bit of um, an extension of a technique that I used in previous series. And when I was making this series, I felt like it was a structure that I was getting more and more familiar with, you know, more and more decisive at. So it was kind of building up from there. <laughs>